Hallelujah. I thank God for your life. I thank God for every single one of you joining us this evening. May the Lord richly bless every single one of you for joining us this evening. Father, we thank you for the life of everyone that is on this platform this morning. This evening, Father, we bless your name. We thank you, Father, for every person that joined us today. Father, we bless your name. We bless your name, Holy Spirit. We magnify your name. Receive all honor, receive all praise. Receive all adoration, O Lord. Want you be all praise and thanksgiving. We worship you, Adonai. We worship you, ancient of days. Receive all praise, receive all honor, receive all adoration. We bless your name, Holy Ghost. We bless your name, Adonai. We bless your name, ancient of days. Receive all honor, receive all praise. Father, we thank you. We worship your name, ancient of days. We worship your name, Adonai. May the haprane hasuhasre and deleprene masai the haprane brene masihene. Lift your voice and thank the name of the Lord, somebody. Lift your voice and worship the name of the Lord. Lift your voice and bless the name of the Lord, someone. For he is Lord, there is none like him. He is God, there is none that can be compared. In power and in might there is none. And in majesty there is none, Lord. We bless your name, ancient of days. We exalt your holy name, Adonai. We exalt your name, King of Kings. We magnify your name, ancient of days. We glorify you. Somebody lift your voice and thank the name of the Lord. God, reach and bless every single one of you for joining. I'd like you to share. Invite somebody to join us. Invite somebody to join us. Lift, lift up prayer. Exalt the name of the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord. Thank you very much for your God, reach and bless you. Nas Mali, God, reach and bless you. We thank you, Adonai. We thank you, ancient of days. We magnify your name. We glorify your holy name, O Lord. Maida ha pahasiende e brene masiende. Brene masiende e taia brana brene masaida ha brane hindiando le brene masindi ha saita. We worship your name, O Lord. We bless your name, ancient of days. We worship your holy name, O Lord. We bless your name, Adonai. We bless your name, Adonai. King of kings, be glorified. Invite somebody, invite somebody to join us this evening. Invite someone to join us this evening. My sister, God richly bless you, Tanisha. God richly bless you. I'd like you to share this. I'd like you to invite someone to join us this evening. We worship your name, Adonai. We worship your name, ancient of days. We worship your name, King of Kings. We bless your name, Adonai. We bless your name, King of Kings, O Lord. Receive all honor, receive all praise, receive all thanksgiving. We worship your name, ancient of days. We glorify your holy name. Receive all praise, receive all thanksgiving, O Lord. We magnify your name, Maida Habrani, Hesini, Hasaita, Yabrani. We worship your name, we bless your holy name, O Lord. Lift your voice, somebody. Lift your voice, all ye people, exalt the name of the Lord. Lift your voice, all ye people, exalt the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord, for he is God. Bless the name of the Lord, for he is King. Exalt his name, for he is Lord. Father, we worship you. We bless your name, O Lord. We magnify your holy name. May the haprani hesi handi katale brene masuani. Brene masini hazaita yabrani ita yabrani masuani kiteli. May the haprani masuani yakiteli brene masaita. Abrani hasini hazaita yabrani hesi antale brene masiande. Yabrani masaita yabrani. Teda yabrani masuani yateli brene masini hesaita yabrani masuani. Somebody lift your voice and thank the name of the Lord. Lift your voice and bless the name of the Lord. Father, we exalt your name. We bless your holy name, O Lord. We magnify your name, King of Kings. We glorify your name, ancient of days. Receive all honor, receive all praise, O Lord. Maida haprani hesene hasaita yabrani inta librene masuande. 
Kadiliani ni preni masaita ya brani hisindi hatada brani moswani. Lift your voice, someone. Lift your voice, somebody. Exalt the name of the Lord. Don't just watch me. I want you to enter into a time of prayer. Exalt the name of the Lord with me, somebody. Exalt the name of the Lord with me. Lift up His holy name. If you have to step out into the bathroom so you can pray, you want to step out into the bathroom so you can pray, you want to set up into your closet so you can pray, you want to step outside into a car so you can join me in prayer, I would like you to do that. I don't want you to just sit, stay on that platform and just watch me. I want you to join me in prayer. Father, we bless your name. We continue to worship your name. We exalt the name. Exalt the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of the Lord. David said, lift up the, all ye nations. Exalt his name for he is God. He is the creator of the heavens and the universe. By his breath, the earth is held in place. By his breath, every living thing is sustained. By his power... We are all kept in place. Somebody, how don't you lift up the name of the Lord? Why don't you glorify the name of this God? Why don't you lift up his holy name? Why don't you glorify his name? He is King of kings and the Lord of lords. We worship you. Holy Spirit, we bless your name. We will glorify your holy name, Holy Ghost. Be magnified, be glorified, be glorified, O Lord. We bless your name, O Lord. Maida haprani hesini hasaita yabrani mosuani. Kadeliani ipreni masaita yabrani hesini kadelini. We worship you, Adonai. We bless your name. Maida habrani hasiani. Ipreni masini hasaita yabrani hesani yakitali breni. Lift up the name of the Lord, somebody. Lift up the name of the Lord, everybody. Lift up the name of the Lord, all ye people. Be lifted up, all ye gates, all people. Apahasiani ipreni maswani. Somebody lift up your voice and thank the name of the Lord. Bless his name. Somebody lift your voice and bless his name. Somebody lift your voice and worship the name of the Lord. Somebody lift your voice and magnify his name. He is King of kings and the Lord of lords. Yes, he is God Almighty. Above him there is none and below there is none that can be compared. Somebody lift your voice and thank the name of the Lord. Somebody lift your voice and magnify his name. He is Jehovah Jireh, your provider. He is Jehovah Rapha, your healer. He is ancient of days. Uh, he is the maker of the heavens and the universe. Uh, he called things that are not and they came to be. Uh, he called things that are not and they come to be. Uh, why don't you lift up the name of the Lord? Uh, why don't you lift up the name of the Lord? Why don't you lift up the name of this God? Uh, why don't you lift up the name of the Lord? Uh, why don't you glorify his name? Uh, he is full of wealth. He is full of glory. He is full of power. He is full of might. We worship your name. We glorify your name. We magnify you, ancient of days. Yeah, Bahasi and Ikeri and Lebreni. Abreni Masini Hasaita Yabrani Kitali Breni Maswani. Abreni Masaita Yabrani Hesendi Ketali Nibrani. Abreni Hasaita Yabrani Hesendi Kataya. We bless your name, Adonai. We magnify your holy name, O Lord. You are God Almighty. There is none like you are. Above the earth there is none, and below there is none that can be compared, O Lord. In power and in majesty, in glory and in honor, O Lord, we worship you. We bless your name, O Lord. We bless your name. We bless your name, Adonai. We bless your name. We glorify your name, O Lord. We magnify. Meda hapahasinne. Ebrene hesaita ya brani heswande keta ya brani hesinde abrene hasiande keta le brene masini keta ya. Somebody lift the name of the Lord. Bless His name, all ye people. Bless the name of the Lord, all ye people. Bless the name of the Lord, all ye people. Exalt his name for he is God. Exalt his name for he is Lord. We magnify his name. We magnify his name. We magnify his name. He is Yahweh. He is Yahweh our God. He is Yahweh our Lord. Lift up the name of the Lord. Lift his name up on high. He is Yahweh the Lord God Almighty. The Lord God great and mighty in battle. He is the creator of the heavens and the universe. He is the mighty one that goes before the people of Israel. He is the one that goes before the people of Israel. As a mighty king, as a mighty warrior. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Yea, he rolls and everything scatters. He rolls and the things that are impossible is made possible in your life. Somebody lift your voice and thank him. Bless the name of the Lord. 
Lord. He is our deliverer. He is our deliverer. He is our deliverer. He is our Father. He is Father, our provider. My God, we worship your name. We bless your name. Lift up the name of the Lord, everybody. Lift up the name of the Lord, someone. Lift up the name of the Lord. May his name alone be glorified today. May his name alone be lifted up. He says, when I'm lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. Father, we say, be lifted up. This evening we say you be lifted up, O oh Lord. We say you be alone, be exalted. I worship you, O oh Lord. We bless your holy name. He is Abba Father. He is Abba our Daddy, our Provider. He is Baba Hapahasini Hetaya. He is the intimate form of God. We worship Him. Why don't you worship Him, somebody? Why don't you lift up the name of the Lord? Every name of the Lord that you know, I want you to exalt His name. In that name, He is El. Elion, the God most higher, the God most higher, the God most higher. He is higher than your problem. He is higher than your situation. He is higher than your sickness. He is higher than your infirmity. He is higher, higher than your weakness. He is God, El Elion, the Lord high above, the most high God. He is the most higher. He is the most higher. He is the most higher, higher than anything that you can think about. He is El Elion. He is El Elion, be lifted up, O Lord. He is El Elion, be lifted up, O Lord. He is El Roy, the God who sees. He is the God that sees your situation. He is the God that sees into your future. He is the God that sees into your past. He is the God that sees. He is El Roy. El Roy, El Roy, El Roy. He is the Lord that sees. He is the Lord that sees you. He is the Lord that looks upon you. He is the Lord that watches over you. He is the one that watches over Israel. So he, so Israel is not destroyed. Why don't you lift up the name of the Lord? Why don't you lift up his holy name? Why don't you bless his name? While you doing this, I would like you to also share, invite other people to join us this evening. Oh my God, I'm so much excited in my spirit this evening that somebody will live here with a testimony. That somebody will live here exalted. That somebody will live here better than they came. Somebody will live here better than they came up. Somebody will live here better than they came up. You are crossing over to tomorrow. You are crossing over to another day better than you came in today. Somebody lift up the name of the Lord. Somebody exhort his name. He is El Shaddai, God Almighty. He is El Shaddai. He is the God Almighty. He is mightier than your problem. He is mightier than your situation. He is mightier than your weakness. He is mightier than your pain. He is mightier than your weakness. He is mightier than your shame. He is the God Almighty. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. He is the God Almighty. He is the God all powerful. We worship you. We glorify your name, Adonai. Be lifted up, all ye people. Be lifted up, all ye God. My God, be lifted up, all ye Mahasini. We lift your name, oh high Mahasini Italiani. We worship your name, ancient of days. We worship your name, Adonai. We worship your name, King of Kings. We worship your name, ancient of days. Somebody invite someone to join us. Invite somebody to join us this evening. Invite somebody to join us this evening. Invite somebody to join us, Father. You are El Shaddai, the God Almighty. We lift you up. You are an Almighty God. We glorify your name. Be lifted up, Almighty God. Be lifted up, Almighty God. You are all powerful. You are all victorious. You are all powerful, O oh God. You are almighty. You are almighty. You are God almighty. You are God almighty. Everything about you is bigger. Everything about you is mega. Everything about you is greater. Everything about you is bigger and larger. Everything about you is almighty. Everything about you is all glorious. Everything about you is almighty. We want we worship your name, El Shaddai. We worship your name, El Shaddai. We worship your name, El Shaddai. Receive our praise. Receive our honor, O oh Lord. 
Jehovah Jireh. Hey, you are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. Yeah, you are our provider, oh God, from ancient of days when we were like clots of blood in our mother's womb. You provided life. To us, oh my God, you are the Lord that provided life, oh Lord. You are the Lord that gave us life, oh Lord. You are the Lord that gave us form. You form our bones out of nothing. You form our flesh and you put, oh God, life in us. You put, oh God, the muscles, the tissues, oh God, even the tendon, even the tissues, oh God, even the organs, oh God. You put every single one of them, oh God, together. We thank you and we bless your name. We are, oh God. God, oh God, we are glory. We, we are, oh God, we appreciate you, oh God. We don't take it for granted, oh Lord. You are our provider. You are Jehovah Nissi, the Lord, our banner. You are the Lord, my banner. You are the Lord, my banner. You are the Lord, my banner. You are the Lord whose name we proclaim. You are the Lord, our protection. You are the Lord that goes ahead of us. Be magnified, ancient of days. Be glorified, Adonai. Be glorified, Adonai. You are the Lord that goes ahead of your people to bring deliverance. Father, we say today, go ahead of us, O Lord. Today, go ahead of us, O Lord. Jehovah Nisi, receive all glory. Receive all honor. You are Jehovah Rapha, our healer. You are the Lord, the God that heals us. You are the Lord that heals us. We thank you for your healing power in our lives. We thank you for your healing in our body. We thank you for your healing in our souls. We thank you for the healing of our minds and of our body, O oh Lord. We bless your name, Adonai. <coughs> We thank you, O oh God, for healing our spirits. Uh, we bless your holy name. Uh, we magnify you, O God. You are Jehovah Rapha, O oh God, the God that heals us. Hey, Father, we thank you. We worship you, O oh Lord. We exalt your name, eh, King Handele, Prane, Hesinde, Katina, Yeprene, Mrene, Masianda. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh Shalom. You are Yahweh Shalom, our peace. You are God of our peace. You are our Shalom, the God that grant us peace. You are the God, the bearer of our peace, O oh Lord. You, O oh God, grant us peace daily in our lives, O oh Lord. We thank you. We bless your name. We say you alone, O oh God, be glorified. You alone, O oh God, be magnified. Somebody invite somebody to join us this evening. Invite someone to join us this evening. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name. We bless your name, ancient of days. We bless your name, ancient of days. We enter into a place. We're going to ask the Lord God Almighty to purge us. Beloved, I don't want your prayer to be earth bound. I want your time that you're spending here in prayer. To be worth it, hallelujah. Why do you waver between I want your prayer time tonight to do exploit. I don't want your prayer time tonight just to be like every other prayer time you had. For that reason, I would like us to enter into a place, the holies of holies. Through the mercy seat, we want to enter into the holies of holies. We want to enter into the holies of holies so we shall receive from the Most High God. We want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. If there is any iniquity in you. David said, if I hide iniquity in me, yeah, you will find it. For there is nothing in us that the Lord cannot see, beloved. If there is anything in you that will hinder you from receiving from him. Today is an opportune time for you. I would like you to open up your mouth and say that, Father, I forgive. Father, oh God, purge and cleanse me. I come before the altar, I come before your throne, O oh God, and I receive of you mercy, O oh Lord, and I receive of you grace, O oh God, to forgive. Father, O oh God, cleanse and purge my heart, O oh Lord. Cleanse and purge your people, O oh God. Touch our lips, O oh God, with the fire of clay, O oh Lord. Purge us, O oh God, and cleanse us, O oh Lord. 
May we, O oh God, not gather, O oh God, in vain. But, Father, may our prayer ascend up, O oh God, into the heavens, O oh Lord. Like sweet, O oh God, sever, O oh Lord. Like sweet, O oh God, communion, O oh Lord. Like sweet, O oh God, aura, O oh God. May it enter, O oh God, your throne room of grace, O oh Lord. May it be received of you, O oh Lord. May it come, O oh God, before you acceptable as a living sacrifice acceptable unto you. I pray in the name of Jesus, O oh God, as I lead your people up, O oh God, unto your place of oh, prayer, I pray that, Father, by your hand and by your mighty power, Lord Jesus, you shall do the impossible. Father, O oh God, you shall touch your tongues, O oh Lord. Forgive and cleanse our oh people, O oh God. Purge your hearts, O oh God. Purge your minds. Uh, purge your souls, O oh God. Purge your tongues. Uh, purge your intellect, O oh Lord. May they declare your will and your precepts, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, O oh King, I pray by your power, may you, O oh God, do the impossible in your people. May you forgive, O oh Lord. May you purge, O oh God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Not as the blood of Abel, O oh God, that speaks, O oh God, for revenge, but we speak, O oh God, and we plead the blood of Jesus, O oh God, that speaks of our forgiveness. Uh, the blood, O oh God, that forgives, O oh Lord, the blood, O oh God, that purges us, O oh God, that grants us forgiveness, I pray, O oh Lord. God Almighty, the Lord God Almighty, O Lord, forgive your people, purchase, O Lord, cleanse us, O God, as we come before you, O Lord. May we come, O God, acceptable. May we enter the holies of holies, O Lord. May our prayer, O God, not be unbound, O Lord. May it, O God, climb up, O God, unto you. May it be acceptable, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. There are a few things I would like to touch with you today before we enter into a time of prayer. Today, yokes will be broken. Today, some people will be set free. Today, generational curses will be broken. And you shall take everything that belongs to you. You shall possess your possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I would like to revisit Isaiah 58. The verse 6. Hallelujah. Mahasiheni hataira brane masuani. Ebrene masuhande ya brane brane masihini. Abrene masihande hataira brane masiheni ya kidaya. The verse says, Somebody can post it for me if somebody is there. It's not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to lose the chains of injustice and to, the, and to untie the cords of the yoke and to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, King of Kings. I thank you, Ancient of Days. I bless your name. Father, oh God, I commend myself unto you. Touch this tongue of clay. Open my eyes, oh God, open my tongue, oh God, open my mind to receive of you, oh God. As we are gathered, O oh Lord, we are not gathered unto any man. We have come before you, the Almighty God, O oh Lord. And in the midst, O oh God, of multitudes of angels, O oh Lord, do your will in the midst of your people. Do your will in the midst of your people. Do your will in the midst of your people. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, Father. I bless your name. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 58, the verse 6. Is not this the fast I have chosen? To lose the bonds of wickedness. Hallelujah. To lose the bonds of wickedness. As I've been preparing today to come here, the Lord was just laying a few things on my heart. He says that He is willing to do great and mighty things in the midst of His people. The Lord is willing to do great and mighty things in the midst of His people. He says that my ears are not too short to hear. My ears are not too are not too deaf to hear. Or my hands are too short to receive from you. Meaning the Lord God is so much happy. Is so much in, 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 in eagerness willing to hear from you. Willing to answer your prayer. Willing to set you free. Willing to cause great and mighty things in your life. He is willing. He is ready. He is more than ready. His word says that before we even open up our mouths, He knew what we desired and what we want. But there is one thing that sets us apart that we are not able to receive from Him. And He told me to lead the people today so that we can do that thing. Some of you are even sick spiritually. Spiritually, you are not even able to receive from the Lord because of that reason. And the reason being, He told me as tonight we have to deal with the spirit of unforgiveness and bitterness. Unforgiveness and bitterness. Hallelujah. Unforgiveness and bitterness. Our forgiveness is like a cancer that can eat away. It's like a constant dripping of, of water on a rooftop. That is dripping from a rooftop. It will gradually eat away the cement. It will gradually eat away the concrete. It will gradually create a path. It will gradually dig a hole. Wherever the water drops. Our forgiveness the spirit of unforgiveness, if it's not dealt with, beloved, it will stand in the gap of you receiving anything that the Lord has in store for you. Hallelujah. 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 The blood of Jesus and the blood of Abel, all this blood was shed. Hallelujah. But one calls for vengeance and another calls for forgiveness, calls for redemption, calls for mercy. Hallelujah. There is power in forgiveness. There is power in letting people, setting people free. Isaiah 58, so usually when we read, all we think about is setting ourselves free. But as I was reading it today, the Lord opened up my eyes to see. He said, Lord, Ernest, my people, if they will stand on Isaiah 58 and the verse 6 and pray. For you guys read certain things on, in the verse 6 and you, you think, sometimes we think it is about us praying that the Lord would deliver us from something. But the Lord is rather admonishing us to set people free. Hallelujah. Some of you, you are holding people in captivity. You have holding people in, in prison in your heart. You have holding people in prison in your mind. In your mind, you have held people bound. You have held situations bound. You have held families bound. You have held generations bound. Why? Because you are not ready to let go. You are not willing to forgive. Hallelujah. Forgiveness 
It's the greatest gift you, shall, you can give to any other man. Hallelujah. 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 Forgiveness is the greatest gift you can give to any man or any woman. The spirit of unforgiveness, if it's allowed, it can tear up a family. It can destroy your destiny. It can separate mother and children. It can separate father and children. It can separate husband and wife. It can break the covenant of marriage. It can break the covenant even in churches. It can break leadership. It can break everything that is bound together. The spirit of unforgiveness is so powerful. Its power is limitless. But if you can open your heart and forgive, the Lord God will cause great and mighty things in your life, somebody. Today, before we enter into prayer, there are certain things we're going to deal with. You're going to let go of anyone that you've held bound in your heart. Any situation that you have not let go in your heart. Any people that you have not let go in your heart. Today you will forgive them. Hallelujah. Because their forgiveness is not for them. Their forgiveness is for you. Hallelujah. As you forgive them, so will the Lord forgive you. As you forgive them, you open up the portals of the grace and the power of God to flow through your heart. Beloved, unforgiveness is the greatest gift that you can give yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of unforgiveness unforgive, is the greatest gift you can give to any man. Beloved husbands, the greatest gift you can give to your wife is not a new diamond on her ring. No, 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 no. Wives, the greatest gift you can give to your man is not, it's not falling in love with him. It is more than that. Hallelujah. Fathers, the greatest gift you can give to your children is not buying them the most expensive stuff. The greatest gift you can give to any human being is the gift of forgiveness. To look them in the eyes and say, you know what, my brother, my sister, you hurt me. You hurt me, but I forgive you. You hurt me, but I forgive you. You hurt me, but I forgive you. The more we learn to forgive people, the more we let go of the pain the pe people have caused us, the more we become like God. The Bible says in the book of in Psalms, it says that, are you not God, small gods? The more we, be, we learn to forgive, the more we let go, the more we look at people that have hurt us, the more we look at our pastors that are hurt us, the more we look at teachers of the, of the gospel that have left her, that have hurt us, the more we let go. Some of you are on this platform. You've been hurt in the church. There is nothing like some people that goes to the church and being hurt from the church. Somebody watching me today, whatever and whoever have hurt you from the church, say, I forgive. Declare, I forgive. Declare, I forgive three times. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. I forgive. If you can mention the name of the person, I'd like you to do it before we enter into the next phase. Call out your names. Call out your names. And declare that I forgive you. Declare that wherever you are, I forgive you. Wherever you are, I forgive you. I let you go. I let you go. I no longer hold you in my heart. I no longer hold you in my heart. I forgive you. I no longer hold you captive. I no longer hold you in prison. I set you free. I set you free. I forgive you. I forgive you of the pain that you caused me. I forgive you of the hurt that you hurt me. I forgive you of the name calling that you called me. I forgive you for walking out of my life. I forgive you for kicking me out of my life. I forgive you for walking up on me. I forgive you for despising me. I forgive you for, for gossiping on me. I forgive you for not being a mother to me. I forgive you for not being a father to me. Oh, I forgive you for not being a spiritual father to me. I forgive you for not being a spiritual 
to a son to me. I forgive you for not being a spiritual mother to me. I forgive you for not being a spiritual daughter to me. In the mighty name of Jesus, forgive somebody, somebody, no matter what they did to you, no matter how hard they hurt you, no matter how painful it is, no matter how much they cost you, learn to forgive them. I, do, I didn't say it is easy. I didn't say it was going to be easy, but learn to forgive them. They are declared to forgive them, but it is something that you have to work on. Forgiveness is not an easy thing. Forgiveness is not an easy thing, my brother. Forgiveness is not an easy thing. You are watching me and you're saying, Brother Ernest, you have no clue. You're saying, man of God, you have no idea what these people did to me. You have no idea what this guy did to me. He took me for granted. He took my money. He walked away with my life, of my life and he took something that belonged to me. Our women watching us, my sisters, learn to forgive. Learn to forgive. Holding back, holding on to that thing that they hurt you will not bring you back whatever they took from you. The only reason you feel they have taken something from you is because you are holding a piece of that thing. Hallelujah. The only reason that when people leave your life, and you think they took something from you is because you have not let go. Because you have not let go of them. You have not let go of them. Anybody that is not in your life has no power to take and hold of anything from you. Hallelujah. Today you will be set free. Today the Lord will deliver you. Today bitterness will leave your body. Today, the shame that came from bitterness. Today, any sickness in your body that has resurrected as a result of bitterness will leave you. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty 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 name of Jesus. Bitterness and unforgiveness, if it's not dealt with, will lead to bitterness. Bitterness is like Mara. The Hebrew word for bitterness is like Mara. Exodus 15, the verse 23. The people of God have left Egypt. They have left Egypt to the promised land to go and take possession of something worthier, something more glorious than what they left behind. But because of bitterness of Egypt, these people had become slaves. They have been held captive. They have been held in captivity. They look at the people that took advantage of them. They look at the days that they have taken away from them. They look at the beatings they receive in Egypt. They look at the people in Egypt that despise them. They look at the names they call them in Egypt. They look at how worthless they were made to feel in Egypt. They look at how, how, how worthless they felt in Egypt. Even though they have left Egypt, they have not forgiven them. Even though they have left Egypt, they have not learned to forgive. And for that reason, when they entered into the promised land to receive from God the water, the streams of life that is supposed to quench them, that is supposed to grant them peace, that is supposed to quench their thirst from the past, that water had turned to bitterness. Today, somebody is watching me today. You have left people behind in Ghana. You have left people behind in Africa. You have left people behind in southern in the Caribbean. You have left people behind in Europe. You have left people behind in your hometown. But you have not let go of them. And for that reason, life is so bitter. And for that reason, you have not been able to open up to receive the goodness that the Lord has in store for you on the land that he has brought you. Beloved, today I declare in the name of Jesus that may any form of bitterness let go in the name of Jesus. May any form of bitterness let your life in the name of Jesus. May any form of bitterness, oh God, leave your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare under this unction and under this power that bitterness be broken 
any form of marrow, any form of bitterness that you taste in your lips, uh, any form of bitterness that you harbor in your chest uh, that is flowing through you, that is affecting people around you, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare that you are let go in the name of Jesus. One thing about bitterness is bitterness is also contagious. My God, bitterness is so contagious. Bitterness is also contagious. Go hang out around people that are bitter. Hang out around somebody that is bitter. I'll give you 24 or 48 hours. 44, 24 or 48 hours. You will start feeling the same thing. You will start remembering people that have done all the wrong things in your life. Because all that this person will talk to you about or will tell you about is why you should not let go of what people have done to you. People that are bitter when they are around you, they shut your eyes to see what God wants you to receive. Some of you, the things that you have prayed for, the things that you have prayed for is closer to you than you think. The things that you have fasted for is closer to you than you think. One thing about fasting, fasting does not change, does not just change, build you up spiritually, but it opens up your spiritual eyes. It opens up your eyes to see suddenly things that you did not see when you start fasting. The Lord starts opening your eyes to see them. <laughs> oh my God. At the end of this fast, at the end of this, we were doing two, seven hours, seven, uh, seven days. But today, as we were in prayer, my wife came out. He said, and this was a confirmation. He said, the Lord is telling us we should extend this fast to a 14 days. So I am here to announce to you somebody that we are entering into a 14 day fast. Not just seven days, but a 14 day fast. The Lord was just showing me how, what he was going to do in the lives of some people. And in these 14 days, oh my God, when you come out of these 14 days, that thing that belongs to you, that thing that is yours, that is hidden from you because of bitterness, that thing that is hidden from you because of the seed that people have sown in your, in your mind, that thing that belongs to you because, and you are not able to take possession of that thing because of what people have said concerning it, that your eyes will be start opening towards it in the mighty name of Jesus. When bitterness leaves your life, beloved, when people that are bitter leave your life, all of a sudden, you open up your heart, you open up your mind to think about life differently. You do not judge any man that comes into your life. You do not judge any person that comes into your life. Suddenly you will start feeling that, oh God, I deserve to be blessed. Not everybody that is coming into my life is coming to hurt me. But God is actually sending people into my life to be a blessing unto me. Oh my God. God is actually sending people into my life to be a blessing to me. All of a sudden, people that you saw, that you hated. People of different tribe, different race, different gender, different color. That you hated before. All of a sudden, you will start looking at them differently. Why? Because bitterness has let go. The cancer has left your mind. The cancer has left you. The scales have been removed. Your eyes have been opened. Yeah, the spring of life, the spring of well, that spring up to life eternal has been sprung open in your heart. And you start feeling life differently. You start flowing life differently. Beloved, your life will not be the same. When you start forgiving people. In Mara, the people of God, even though they have come to the promised land, they could not drink of a land that was filled with milk and honey because the water on that land was bitter. Was bitter. Mara in the book, in the in Mara represent bitterness. Hallelujah. Mara means bitterness in the Hebrew relation. There is a relationship between bitterness and and sickness. Hallelujah. Cancer, there are research that are done where people relate, doctors relate cancer 
to bitterness. Cancer to bitterness. David said, David said, as long as I bottled up my, my iniquities in me, it ate me up. It ate my bones. That is what cancer does. Cancer eats up your flesh. It eats up your bone. It can, it can, it can, it can, it can, it can even, even, it can even infect your bloodstream. People that get cancer in the blood, that is what happens. It flows through their bone marrow and it, it infects their, 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 their red blood cells. And, and, and when that happens, your white blood cells keep fighting. It keeps fighting to the place where it starts actually, it, start, it, does, not, it does not function well. And your body is not able to fight those cancerous cells. Hallelujah. Bitterness will live your life. In the name of Jesus. Bitterness will live your life. Most of the arthritic pain people receive, people have arthritis, rheumatism, is all born out of bitterness. The spirit of bitterness, if you let it in your heart and you let it in your life, beloved, it can cause heart attack. It can cause heart attack. Do you remember that person that you held something so bad against them? How did you feel when you saw them? How did you feel when you saw them? All of a sudden, your blood pressure. Whoo! <laughs> All of a sudden, people that you hate, people that you think bad or you think bad against, look at how you feel anytime you see them. The Lord wants to deliver you. He wants to set you free. He wants to set you free. He wants to set you free. The, the, book, the book of uh, Hebrews chapter 12, the verse, the verse 15. I'll read Hebrews 12, the verse 15. He talks about the root of bitterness. Hebrews 12, 15. Lord Jesus, we'll be praying very soon. Hebrews 12, 15. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I worship you, Holy Ghost. I bless your name, Holy Ghost. Oh, Holy Spirit, be glorified. Yes. Hebrews 12, the verse 15. He says, see to it. See to it. Another word to it is, apply diligence. Apply diligence. See to it. <laughs> Why? Because bitterness is very crafty. First, you do not inherit bitterness. Bitterness comes through unforgiveness. As humans, it's so much easy to hold grudges against people. Hey, this one has done against me. I will do the same to them. I will do the same to them. A hundredfold, a good measure, pressing over, will I do to them? Oh my God. It's so easy to feel that you have to retaliate. Oh my God. It's so easy for us to feel that we have to retaliate. Retaliation. It is it is it's so easy for humans. To believe that if you have done something against me, I want to do the same, even greater. Oh my God, there is a saying that vengeance is better served cold. Some people can be cold. Some people can be cold. Some people can be cold. It's so easy to not to forgive. That is the easiest thing you want to do. It's so easy. Some of my sisters, they break up with a man. And because they want to, they want to revenge, if, because they also want to show that, you know, I can get somebody better, they will go ahead and find another man. Any one of us on this platform that have done that before, 
You tell me how does that, those relationships, how do they end up? In the relationship you entered with the intention to pay back, to also show the other person, to show somebody that you are also a guy, you are also the best woman in town. Hey, me too, I got some. My sisters, they will say, oh Jesus. Me too. Oh, can I cry? I'm not here anymore. Who jam ya? Let me say ya. Me say I'm gonna So you go ahead. You can date the person's brother, the person's uncle, the person's father, the person's friend. Only because you want to be able to retaliate. Oh Jesus, tell me how those relationships end. It always end up in embarrassment. Oh Jesus, may the Lord have mercy on us. As I'm talking to you, I'm also working on myself. Oh, hey, I'm also working on myself. I radinami, have mercy. <laughs> it's so easy to want to retaliate. A good measure pressed down. Oh Jesus. It's so easy wanting to retaliate. It's so easy wanting to pay back people for what they have done to you. But the Lord is saying, He says in Hebrews 12, the verse 15, See to it. Apply diligence. See to it. That no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. When we allow bitterness to, to blossom in our lives, when we allow unforgiveness to, to have a place in our lives, Unforgiveness give birth to bitterness. And bitterness have deep roots. Oh my God. Bitterness have deep roots. It can go far, wide and deep. The root of bitterness. There is no sin that the Lord God talks about so much that have roots. Bitterness is so infectious that it can even affect your children. A woman that is bitter, all she teaches her children is why they should not let go of the other people. In your life, growing up, has your mom even tell you not to associate with certain people and could not even give you a reason why you should not? Some of you watching me, some of your aunties, your mothers had warned you against them. Some of your uncles, some of your family, they have, you have been warned against them. You don't even know what happened. All you can say is, our family there, for some reason we don't relate well with this part of the family. But you cannot find a tangible reason. Because bitterness have roots. You will pass on to your kids, you pass on to your great kids, your great grandkids, and they will not even have a reason why they cannot associate. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? If you and I, our family members, have learned to forgive, you have been told, I've been warned not to forgive, not, not to talk to an auntie. But you have never been told why. And you continue with that message. And you've been a preacher of that message to your children. To the extent that you don't even want them to know that you are from this part of town. That side of town, you are not from there. Hey! May the Lord have mercy on us. He says, see to it, apply diligence. 
that you do not fall short of the grace. There is a grace that comes when we forgive and we live in a life that is not born of bitterness. Beloved, when the grace, when bitterness siphon that grace from you, you run your life in circles. You'll be in a place that abounds with every form of wealth, but your eyes will be shut to see it. Beloved, the Lord that we are worshipping and the prayers that we are praying and the answers that we are seeking for our prayers, God will not rain the answers from heaven to come down. Your answer is going to come through somebody. And for us to continue these 14 days, I would like the Lord to work on you. You apply yourself to it. See to it that you do not fall short of the grace that is going to fall these 14 days. Because you are holding on to something. Because you are holding on to bitterness. Today I stand forth as a servant of the Most High God. Hey, and by the mercies of the Holy Spirit and the mercies of the Most High God and the blood of the sprinkling, the blood that is speaking for us, the blood that speaks of our forgiveness, the blood that speaks of our mercy, the blood that speaks of our sanctification, I declare, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that any soul represented here on this platform, that any person represented here on this platform, may your grace fall upon them, O oh Lord. May the grace to forgive may be their portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I attack any root of bitterness. Any root of bitterness in their life. Bitterness from the past. Bitterness from family members. Bitterness from people that have taken advantage of them. Bitterness from people that have despised them. Bitterness from the people that have rejected them. Bitterness from the people that have gossiped about, about them. Bitterness from people that have despised them. In the name of Jesus. I uproot it right now. We uproot it right now. Somebody lift your voice in prayer. Any form of bitterness. I would like you to declare. Any form of bitterness. You plead the blood of Jesus over you. Put your hand on your belly. And declare. Call out names. Call out places that you were, you were, you were despised. Places that you are, they, they call shame unto you. Places that that man broke up with you. Places that that boy broke up with you. Places that you were fired from that job place. Places that you were ashamed and embarrassed. Go to that place. Put your hand on your belly. And say, Father, I let go. Father, I break the root of bitterness from this place. I declare and I surrender. I place myself, oh God, in that place. And I declare and I set these people free. I set people free of the pain of my past. I set people free of the pain of unforgiveness. I set people free from the pain of rejection. I set people free from pain, oh God, of oh God of, 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 of rejection. In the mighty name of Jesus, I set them free from the pain of oh God of, of gossip, oh Lord. The pain, oh God, of name calling. The pain, oh God, of of rejection that comes from families, that comes from my parents, that comes from my mother, that comes from my father, that comes from my siblings. Pain, oh God, the shame that came from, oh God, people taking advantage of me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, set your people free. Set your people free. May your blood cause healing, O Lord. Take away any root, O Lord. Take away any root of bitterness. Take away any root of bitterness. Take away any root of bitterness from your people. In the name of Jesus. May they receive the grace. May they receive the grace. May they receive the grace. He says... See to it that you do not fall short of the grace of God. Falling short means limitation. Falling short 
means not good enough. Sh falling short means not worthy enough. Falling short means not being adequate enough. Falling short means not being qualified enough. Sometimes we can disqualify ourselves to receive from the fullness that God has for us. Every grace that God gives his people is for a purpose and is for a reason. There is a special grace that comes in marriage. There is a special grace that comes as a father to raise kids. There is a special grace that comes as a mother to raise your children. There is a special grace that comes as a man to be a good husband. There is a special grace that comes as a wife to be a good wife. There is a special grace that comes as a business person to prosper. There is a special grace that comes as a, in your career for you to excel. There is a special grace that comes in your ministry for your ministry to stand. Today I stand forth any root of bitterness that causes you to fall short to receive this grace. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, may that hedge be broken. May that limitation be breaking. May that limitation be taken off. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Be set free, O Lord. Be set free, O Lord. In the name of of Jesus. See to it that you do not fall short of the grace of God. I didn't know that we could fall short of the grace of God. To like read this scripture again this morning. I'm saying, hey, grace. Grace. I don't. Huh. We can fall short of the grace of God. Even though God's desire for you is to prosper, you could limit yourself because of unforgiveness. And for that reason, you can't afford, my sister, you cannot afford to hold that man you cannot afford to hold back to the things of the past. Because if you do, you are shooting like you are shooting yourself in your leg. It's like you are cutting yourself short of the fullness of God. That is why Paul was saying, he says, see to it, apply diligence. It's something that you work on every day. It's something that you have to examine yourself daily. In the name of Jesus. My prayer is, Father, may I not hold anybody captive in my heart. May I not hold any person captive in my heart. May I not hold anyone captive in my heart. That I may fall short of your grace. I may short forth, O God, of your grace. Beloved. You need the fullness of the grace of God. To declare you don't need a piece of it. You need the whole of it. You need all the grace you can from the Most High God to succeed. You need the grace to succeed, my God. My sister Angela Yancey, the Lord will visit you at it. My sister Angelina Yancey, the Lord will glorify himself in your life. He will glorify himself. Pate, who will be a when this one in a I don't know, but the Lord is just highlighting you tonight. When this one, a subetra, your cry will come to an end. You shall cry no more. You shall cry no more, my sister. Pate, you shall cry no more. You shall cry no more. Those that contend with you, the Lord will contend with them. What is? Oh, Jesus, I thank you. Do not hold any bitterness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
So bitterness grows. It can spread out like cancer. It can hurt generations yet unborn. It can hurt generations yet unborn. It can cut and delim- limit your destiny. It can cut short and limit your destiny. It can cut short and limit your destiny. My sister, let go. My brother, let go. My sister, let go. The root of bitterness can become like the wood worm, the wormwood. If you are familiar with the wormwood, it's very poisonous. The wormwood eats, it it can eat every wood. That's why most, most if you work in the furniture or work with wood before every wood that is cut, it has to be treated. Because the worm wood can eat. It's like in Kanka. People, those of you from Ghana, it can eat, it can eat, it can eat the tallest of tree. The tree can be standing, but there is nothing good in that tree. It will only take a storm to blow over that tree and that tree will fall. Bitterness can be like a worm wood. It will eat you. And when your foundation is destroyed, the Bible says, what would the righteous do? Bitterness is something you cannot afford to carry around. Hallelujah. Today we pray. We're praying a deliverance prayer that any seed that has been sown in you as a result of bitterness, any seed that has, that has found itself root in you, that has caused sickness, at the end of this day, today some of you will be held, will be made free. You will be set free from bitterness. You'll be set free from from hypertension. Cancers will go away from you. Cancers will go away from you. Oh, Jesus. Cancers will go away from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice in prayer. Somebody lift up your voice in prayer. Bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice in prayer. Bahar Suhande ya prene masini hasitaya. Kadele mreni ante ya brani masuande eteli ane repreni masini. Lift your voice up in prayer. Lift your voice up in prayer, someone. Lift your voice up in prayer. Kadele mreni masihende. Exalt the name of the Lord. Say, Holy, Holy, Holy is your name. Lord God Almighty, Mahasihende hasaita ya brani. You are God Almighty. Ye hasihende hasianda le prene masihende. Kata le prene masini hasait ha yaprani moswami. Oh Jesus, ya prani masini hataira. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I like you to lay your both hand, your your right hand. Lay it on your belly. Lay it on your belly button. Your right hand lay it on your belly button. Lay your right hand on your belly button. Put your right hand on your belly. Lay your right hand on your belly. And say this after me. Say this after me, somebody. Say, Lord Jesus. I thank you for your forgiveness. I thank you for your blood that is still shed for me. I receive your fullness, O Lord. I forgive everyone that have hurt me. I forgive anyone that has hurt me. Those that cause shame to me. Those that cause bitterness in my life. I forgive my parents. The pain from my childhood. The hurt from my childhood. The bitterness from my childhood. I forgive them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
I forgive the bitterness that came through, oh God, my schooling. <laughs> Teachers that hated me for no reason. Seniors that bullied me for no reason. People that made me bitter for no reason. I forgive them. I forgive them in the name of Jesus. As I stand up and pray tonight, any seed that was sown in me, any seed that was sown in my heart, any seed that was sown in my belly, because of my relationship with teachers, because my relationship with, with seniors in high school, because my relationship with my fathers, because of my relationship with my mothers, because of my relationship with acquaintances, in the name of Jesus, as I lay my hands on my belly, I set myself free. I break the yoke over me. I break the yoke of my life. In the name of Jesus, I set myself free from the shame of the past, from the hurt of the past, from unbit for unforgiveness. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray, O Lord, I set myself free. I set myself free. If you can walk around, you can walk around, you can walk around. Somebody stand on your feet and walk around. If you can walk around, walk on around. And say, I forgive myself of the pain of the past. I forgive myself of the shame of the past. In the name of Jesus. 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 And my break their hold over me right now. In the name of Jesus. 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 We continue to pray. Continue to put your hand there. Your right hand on your belly button. Your right hand on your belly. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I thank you. I receive your forgiveness. I receive your fullness, O oh God, of your mercy. Today, I forgive everyone. I forgive everyone that I hold captive. I forgive everyone that I hold captive. I forgive everyone that I was told to hate from my bloodline in the name of Jesus. The seed of hatred that was sowed in my heart. The seed of hatred that was sowed in my mind. The seed of hatred that was sown in my tongue to hurt certain group of people in the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands on my belly, I set them free. I break that seed over me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I set myself free. I forgive everyone that I hold captive in my heart. I let them go. I let them go. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I set myself free. I set myself free from the chains of unforgiveness, from the chains of unforgiveness, from the chains of bitterness. I set myself free as I turn around. I set myself free. I set everybody that I had free. I set everyone I held captive free. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, as I stand out here, this hand is not my hand. They are your hands of deliverance. I break the yoke. I break the yoke. Break the yoke, O Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I break the yoke. I break the chains of bitterness that was sold, O God. In the heart of people, in their childhood, in the mighty name of Jesus, your word says, O God, who the Son set free shall be free indeed. Who the Son set free shall be free indeed. Father, I break the yoke. I break the chain of bitterness. I break the sickness that came as a result of bitterness. I break, O God, the bondage that are, your people find themselves in as a result of bitterness. Be broken. Receive fire. 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 
receive fire, receive fire, receive fire, 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 in the name of Jesus. Any seed that is sown in your life, that is causing sickness, any sickness that is derived from bitterness, today I declare to arthritis, I declare to arthritis, I declare to any sickness in your body, in your bloodstream, any sickness in your bone marrow, in your joints, in your shoulder, in, oh God, Father, I pray, in the nodes, any sickness in your nodes, in the nodes in your body, where your white blood cells multiply, where your blood, red blood cells multiply, any infection in your blood, as a result of unforgiveness. Today, I curse it to the root. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Every shackle be broken. Every chain be broken. The pain of the past be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, I speak. Anything you have inherited generationally. Not a mother, a father told you not to love these people. Never to invite these people to your gathering. I pray some of you, you are told never to associate to certain tribes in your, in your country. And for that reason, you are working a Ghanaian in, 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 in the U.S., you are working and you are judging people by their tribes. Because your mother, your father told you from Ghana never to associate to certain people. Today we break that boundary. Today we set you free in the name of Jesus. Any generational boundaries that are limiting you, that are limiting you, that are limiting you to receive from God. Because in your mind, anyone from that tribe, can. there is nothing good that can come out of it. In the books, in the Gospels, Jesus Christ was being limited. Because Nazareth, the people from Nazareth, were classified as people that nothing good can come out of them. Nothing good can come out of them. And for that reason, Nathaniel, oh my God, when he heard about Jesus Christ, he nearly did not go to that man. He nearly walked away from the career of his destiny. Hey, he said, can something good come out of, Na come out of Nazareth? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Oh my God. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? He had put the Messiah in a box. The one that was supposed to deliver him because of what he had received. Anything you will receive generationally that has limited you that some of you living in the United States of America you meet white people and you want to run away from them. Today, I deliver you from that mindset. You meet a white person and you want to run away from them. A white man invites you to anything and you are limiting yourself from your mind. Why? Because in your mind, you have positioned a white man at a higher pedestal. You are positioning someone from a different race from a higher pedestal. And for that reason, you are not able to break through from your own people to receive from God. Hallelujah. You are working in the United States. You want to receive millions. You want to own buildings. You want to own businesses. And you are scared to talk to a white man. Hey! Akosia. I don't mean Akosia now on this line. I'm just saying. Ajua. 
God has brought you to the United States of America to make you worthy. A land of opportunities. You are meeting white people every day, inviting you to meetings, and you run. You don't want to go. Why? Because you have been told from where you are coming from about white people. You are scared even to open your mouth. All you know in your mindset is a white man is supposed to give me a job. Today I set you free from that mindset. I set you free and I redeem you from it. You've been told from coming from, from your back home that certain people from a certain tribe, you can never relate with them. And you are walking here in the land of the living. A land of prosperity. You are not willing to open up your heart to anybody. Anyone you see, you suspect the person. My God. Some of you have gone to churches, have sat under some ministries, and your mind is limited because of the messages that you heard. Because you sat down under, under some so-called men of God, some so-called prophets, who have never been able to dealt with unforgiveness in their heart. And they limit you and they tell you to be afraid of everything that comes in your life. Any good thing that come to you, anything that comes to your life is a suspect. And for that reason, you run to them every day. If the Lord is bringing a breakthrough in your life, you have to run to them every day and to confess to them for their approval. My God. Be careful where you sit. Be careful who, who you hear from. And be careful what you hear from. One thing I learned when I, ent I came to the United States is to not to find myself limited unto my people alone. I say to the glory and the grace of God that some of the wealthiest things that have happened in my life have not come to the people that I know have never come from the people in Ghana. They have come from people from different countries, different tribes, different race. People that I cannot even speak their tongue and their language. God has given me favor in their sight. Today, I deliver you from the mindset of mediocrity. Mediocrity comes from all bitterness. People that are sown into your heart. People that are sown into your life. Bitterness. That person that told you never to associate to, to, with those people, they, they could not even tell you why. You didn't even ask them why. Oh my God. My God, my sister Deborah, you are free. I don't need to pray for you. This message is setting you free. I don't need to lay my hands on anybody. What you are hearing right now is setting you free. It is truth. And when truth comes, you don't need anyone to lay hands on you. I'm not going to lay hands on you, my sister Deborah. You are free. You are free. Walk in the openness of mind. Walk in the openness of heart. It's not everybody that you meet is looking to take advantage of you. No. Let go, my sister. Let go of the things they said about people. The Lord is telling me, at the end of these 14 days, people on this platform are going to sign contracts of a million dollars. There are going to be people on this platform that are going to receive and they are going to sign contracts that are going to lead them to their millions. You don't believe me. Mark this day. You don't believe me. And anyone that receives this, he shall be first in line. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is raising wealthy people. The Lord is raising millionaires. The Lord is raising people that are going to own businesses. The Lord is raising employees that are going to become employers. The Lord is raising people that are going to own their own media houses. 
The Lord is going to raise people that are going to own truck businesses. You are going to own fleets of trucks that are going to work for you. You will, you will, you will receive that idea that is going to Lord is going to plant into your heart and in your spirit ideas, ideas that breaks boundaries, ideas that breaks boundaries. Ideas that nobody has ever experienced in your bloodline. Ideas that nobody has ever thought of in your bloodline. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. My God. I feel the power of God here. Lift your voice in prayer. Thank the name of the Lord. Oh, you are awesome, Lord. You are God of power. You are God Almighty. We worship you. Fill this place with your power. Fill this place with your honor. In the name of Jesus. 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 Is there a name called Mraku? Mraku? Is it a name of a place? Mraku? 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 I don't know. Mraku? Mraku? Hey, can it be a name of a place? Can it be a name of a person? My God, Mahasini. Anybody familiar with that name? Emraku. Emraku. Mraku. Anybody familiar with that name? Mraku. Can it be a name of a person or a place? We cry, Holy, holy is your name, O Lord God Almighty. I worship you, Holy Ghost. I thank you. I bless your name. Oh, Jesus, I worship you. Somebody worship the name of the Lord. Holy, holy is the name. Holy. Mraku. Mraku. Is that the name of a person, a place? Oh, Jesus. Worthy is the name. Holy is the name. I adore your name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Mraku. Nobody familiar with that name. It's Amanda on the line. Amanda Boyo. Boyo. Amanda. Are you on the line? We sing whole. Holy. 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 Is the Lord. Oh Jesus. Somebody was taught the name of the Lord. Holy is the name of the Lord. Mighty is his name. Oh Jesus. Amanda, how are you, my sister? The Lord says, I shall tell you. He is thinking of you. He has thoughts of you that are mighty and glorious. He says he has high thoughts of you. Amanda, the Lord says he has high thoughts of you. He says, I think of you mightily, greatly. 
I have great and mighty thoughts about you. Things that are not of evil but of good to bring you to an expected end. Sometimes you limit yourself. There are things that the Lord has started with you. And one way or the other you say, Is this really me? Can I even fulfill this thing? Can I even finish this thing? The Lord is saying that do not limit yourself. For great are the things that I have in store for you. Mighty are the things that I have in store for you. My sister Amanda, you are so blessed. The Lord is showing me the things He is going to do with you. It's, it's, it, beats, it beats my understanding. It beats the understanding of people. I see you receiving exceptional grace to prosper. Are you here in the United States? Are you here in the U.S., Amanda? Are you here in the United States? Amanda, are you here in the United States? The Lord is showing me the grace to deal with kids, with children. The grace to deal and handle children. Amanda, Agborio, the grace to deal and handle with children. And I see someone that is able to gather children, is able to like teach. I don't know, but if you are aspiring to own a school, to open up a school, Amanda, the grace to deal with kids, I see many children around you, the grace to deal with them, to mentor, to teach. But if you desire to start a school, what do you do? If you desire to start a school, the Lord says, I am pouring out that grace upon you. These 14 days, don't exempt yourself. Every night, i like to see you up on here. What do you do for work, Amanda? You are awesome, O oh Lord. Amanda, what do you do for work? Come and fill this place. You are awesome, worthy. Amanda, I would like you to tell me what you are doing. What do you do? You are awesome. Amanda, I don't tell, want you to tell me yes. What do you do? Are you working with children? Are you a teacher? You work in the health field. I see this grace upon you, working with children. But if that is your heart desire, the Lord wants me to confirm this for you. The grace to handle and gather children. I see that grace upon you. Father, I pray and I release it upon our sister. In the name of Jesus, whatever you are doing in the health field, whatever you are doing in the health field, it could be temporary. It could be temporary. I see the grace upon you in the health, in the working with children, tutoring, mentoring children. Father, I pray and I release that grace upon your servant. Your servant in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Worthy Mahasuhandi Atade Breni Masini. 
Ketai ya brani mreni masuhandi ya taira brani masini. Preni hasindi ya taira katale brani masuhanda ya keteli In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, I cancel any form of accident. Any accident, O oh Lord. Any tragedy, O oh Lord. We cancel it. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. We nullify it by the blood of Jesus. We, cl- we pray that it has no root of God in us. It has no power over us, O oh Lord. We cancel it in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, and we declare, may your fullness, O oh God, be made manifest in the life of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 I cancel any form of incident, any accident, any tragedy. I cancel in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you shall inhabit, O God, the abode of your people. You shall carry them, O Lord, as the God over your wings. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Carry them, O Lord. By your wings, carry them, O Lord. In their outgoing, carry them, O Lord. In their incoming, carry them, O Lord. May you alone be glorified in their lives. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua Amashia, the Son of the Most High God. Oh God Almighty. The Lord says He is turning destinies. He is turning destinies. He is turning destinies around. He is turning destinies around. He is restoring destinies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, O Lord, for anyone with the name Ishan, anyone by name Ishan, anyone that knows anyone by name Ishan, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Ishan. Anyone with a daughter, a child by name Ishan, Ishan, I pray in the name of Jesus, I declare your power over Ishan, wherever they are in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray you shall visit them. You shall visit them. In the mighty name of Jesus. A son, I pray, O God. A son, I pray, O God. As I wipe my hands over my face, I wipe out every shame. I wipe out any disfavor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare, O Lord, your eyes be open to see the grace and the glory of the Most High God upon you. I pray for divine connection, Eshan, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray for Eshan. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I glorify your name. Mahasihendi, Hasaita. We are entering the 14 day fast. We started yesterday. And for the next 12 days, we're going to meet every evening. The woman of God, my wife, will hold the afternoon sessions 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'll be with you in the evening. We'll break yokes. We will set the captives free. We will see a tangible manifestation of the power of the Most High God. The Lord God will bring healing. We will set the captives free. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to leave you with these scriptures. I want to leave you with these scriptures for the next three days. These scriptures. If somebody can post them for me. These scriptures. I'm going to leave them with you. These scriptures. Exodus 15. The verse 23 to 26. Exodus 15, 23 to 26. And Exodus 1, the verse 14. Also Hebrews 12, the verse 15. Hebrews 12, the verse 15. Deuteronomy 29, the verse 18. Deuteronomy 29, the verse 18. May somebody post this for me. Hallelujah. Deborah, Deborah Eckfield, what do you want us to pray for? Deborah Eckfield, what do you want us to pray for? Deborah Eggfield, what do you want us to pray for? Blood separation, okay. I pray. Deborah, I would like you to, let's talk, DM me, okay? DM me. There are things I don't want to say over the phone, on this platform. Okay? Deborah, DM me this. We will deal with it later. We'll pray. We'll, I'll pray with you. DM me. Let's let's pray with. Let's talk about this later. Okay, I don't want to discuss this. There are stuff I want to tell you, but thank you, thank you very much for understanding, my sister. Thank you very much for understanding. Oh Jesus, I want to pray for one other group, another group of people I want to pray for before I leave. Before I leave. Anyone on this platform want to pray for people that are outside of the earth? Please pray for me. Of a premature death, I beg you, man of God. Ama, you shall not die. Ama, you shall not die. You shall not die, but you shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord. You shall not die. Ama, could see this for 12 days. I'd like you to join us every day. Don't exempt yourself from this fast. Okay? You shall not die. Your destiny is so precious. My God. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Amma, you shall not die. You shall leave. You shall leave. You shall leave. You shall leave. In the name of Jesus. I curse any assignment of death over your life. I curse any contract of death over your life. 
I curse any contract of death over your life. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. And I break the cord, O oh Lord. I break the cord, O oh Lord. I break the cord, O oh God. I set ablaze, O oh God. Any contract that you have taken. Any contract that has been taken regarding you. Any contract that has been received regarding you. In the name of Jesus. I declare you are set free. I break the hold of death, O oh Lord, over you. I set your mind free. I set your mind free. I set your mind free. I block any access of the evil one to your mind. In the name of Jesus. Mahasuhandi atahabrani masimu. In the name of Jesus. Thank you very much for gifting, for posting on these scriptures for the next three days. From the next three days. Friday, we're going to have a special session. But for the next three days, we're going to dwell, deal with unforgiveness, bitterness, and the, the, the effects of those things. Bitterness, unforgiveness. If you have anybody that has gone through especially a, a bad divorce, anyone you know, that have gone through a very bad divorce, separation, divorce, or anything of that sort, invite them to join us the next three days. The Lord is going to set some people free. Hallelujah. 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 Some of you, some of you, the Lord is going to talk to you tonight as you lay down to sleep. When you wake up, do not be in a hurry to get off of bed. Just lay down. The Lord is going to speak to you in dreams. The Lord is going to speak to you, some of you in dreams. In your dream. He's going to give you the key to fix certain things in your life. He's going to reveal certain things about you in your, in your dream. That you had no, even no idea of. Relating to what we are going, we, we, we are talking about and what we are teaching. Hallelujah. 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 I thank God for every single one of you. I'm bringing this session to an end. I want to see you tomorrow. Some of you are re getting ready to go to work. I don't want to take so much of your time. But I'm going to see you tomorrow. God willing, at the same time. 11 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to see you. And the Lord will visit us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We're going to have a special time on Friday. Special session on Friday. Hallelujah. God richly bless every single one of you. I love you all. Greetings from my wife. She says she loves you. She can't wait to see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And tomorrow, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get so many hours. Don't miss it. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. Do not miss it. Hallelujah. 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 I thank you, Gifty, for joining us. Joy, peace. I thank you, Melissa Royal, Antoinette Andor, Nas Mali, Agnes. Thank you very much, Agnes. Anton, Antoinette, thank you for joining us. Ajua, blessing. May. God bless you, my sister. Nas smile. God bless you. Deborah, I will talk to you later, okay? God bless you. Melissa Royal, Eric, God richly bless you. Kwame, God bless you. May Brown, God richly bless you. Every single one of you. Georgina, Bura, God richly bless you. Georgina, 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 you shall not be handicapped.
Georgina, you shall not be handicapped. When I mean handicapped, I don't mean you are going to carry. You shall not be handicapped. You shall not be limited. That is what I'm trying to say. Georgina, you are not going to be limited. You are not going to be limited. Limited. I see people coming out from you that are going to be ministers, great people in government. Is she still there? Georgina Bura. People in leadership. I see that that connection. So great connections. People in leadership. People in leadership. That are going to be like ministers. I see you working with those people. Ministers of states. Ministers of governments. Um, Georgina, prepare yourself, okay? It is well. It is well. My sister, I give to God richly bless you. Okay. I am about to leave here to be with the family. Georgina, what do you do? I see a great connection with ministers. I see great connection with ministers, people in politics. Politics. I see, I don't know if that is what you do or you have any relationship there. Um, but I see the Lord intensifying the relationships with people in government, people in, in leadership. Georgina, do I make sense? Do I make sense, Georgina? Georgina. Father, I thank you. I bless you for every single one. You are supervisor as a hotel in a hotel in New York City. Hmm. I don't know, but that is what I see. I see you leadership, people in politics, especially in politics, leadership, people in influential people, influential people. Influential people. Father, I bless your name. I glorify your holy name. May this come to pass in the name of Jesus. Men and women of influence and affluence, I pray out for my brother. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I'd like to pray finally for everyone before I leave. Okay, yes, you know people in government back home. You know people in government back home. Okay. The Lord is going to intensify that relationships, those relationships. Um, I see you walking amongst them. I see you walking amongst them. I see you walking amongst them. I see you walking amongst people in leadership, in politics. Father, I pray for every soul represented here. I pray for every single one of them, O oh Lord. May your grace, O oh God, abound, O oh Lord, for them. I thank you for what you have started in them. I pray for the strength for these next day, days ahead of them. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you shall sustain them, O oh Lord. In these times of fasting, you shall sustain them. Sustain your people. Reveal yourself to them. Visit them in your dreams. And show yourself to them mightily in the name of Jesus. I bless your name. I glorify your name. Ancient of days. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. I bless your name. Amen. Lord Jesus. People, God richly bless every single one of you. I'll see you again tomorrow. God willing. See you. Peace. Shalom.